everybody, Kathy here from Paper and Lace Princess. Today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on a little coin mini uh, album. This one's really quick and super easy to do. So if you're just starting out in paper craft, this might be a good first project for you. If not, then maybe some of my tips or techniques that I do might, might be useful to you as well if you're an experienced um, scrapbooker. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first off, we'll have a look at all the supplies that we're going to need to put this little mini together. Obviously, one of the first things is choose the paper line that you would like to use. I'm going to be using the my mind's eye, this little um, the sky's the limit. Really pretty little paper pad, this one. Mind you, it doesn't take much to amuse me with papers. There's just so many nice um, ranges out there at the moment. But um, this is the one I'm going to be using. I've gone ahead and taken out a couple of sheets that I will be wanting to use for my covers. So I'll be using these for the covers and perhaps some of this one for the spine. So you want to go ahead and choose what you want for the covers of your mini and put that paper aside so that um, you don't forget about it and use it all up. Mind you, I have done that before. So make sure you do that. Okay, so what we're going to need to do this little mini, of uh, envelope mini, obviously, is little envelopes. Now, these are little coin envelopes, just um, at your local um, office supply or news agency, somewhere like that should have them. I get mine from Officeworks here in Australia. And these ones here measure 3 and 3 eighths by 3 inches. Now, mind you, when you buy these little envelopes, or any envelope for that matter that's already pre-made, don't assume that they're all square and even, because I guarantee you they're not. But I'll show you how to get um, around that so that your album actually comes out nice and um, all even and matching. Okay, so this is going to be a six-page album, so we will need six of these little envelopes. Once again, they're five and three-eighths. By three inches. Okay. The next thing that we're going to need is uh, six pieces for the flaps. Now the flap, when I say the flap, it's this little piece just here. Okay, so that's the one that opens up on this side. Okay, we will need six of those cut at five and a quarter inches by three and a quarter inches. Now on one of the long sides, we need to pop it into our scoreboard and just score down at half an inch, just down one of the long sides. And we need to do that to each six pieces. Now I'm lucky that the paper that I'm using is quite substantial in weight. It's almost, it's, it's a light cardstock. So I've just gone ahead and used it straight from the the paper pack. However, if you're using a designer paper that is just not got the weight in it to do that, then use a light cardstock, cut six of these out as I've said with these measurements, and then go ahead and get your designer paper and cut that at five and one eighths by two and five eighths. Now you're going to ink around all the edges of your paper. And then you just adhere your designer paper down like so. Now you'll need to do that to this side and also the underside. Making sure that you're inking in this uh, fold line, this score line here. Okay? So you need to do that to all your pieces. Now regardless whether you're doing it this way or you're just using the cardstock straight out of the pack like I have, you will need to ink around the edges. Likewise, with all of your little envelopes. You'll need to ink around the edges with a coordinating colour that you would like to do. Okay, so once we've got all of that done, we're going to move ahead and we're going to do our little pockets. Now we'll need six of these once again, and the measurements for these are four and one eighth by two and three quarters. Now with these little pockets, what we'll, I'll um, need you to do is pop it on your scoreboard and score down one side at half an inch, turn it around, score 
at half an inch and once again on the third side at half an inch. Now as you can see I've already gone ahead and tapered off these corners here so that when it's all folded under you've got a nice neat little edge here for your pocket to be adhered down to. Now you, you, if you're happy to leave your pockets like that by all means go ahead and leave it like that but if, if not um, what I have done on mine as you can see here I've got this nice little finish to the edge of my pocket here. Get some card stock and grab this tag. It's down in there. And you can see that a little bit better there. So how I've done that, if you haven't already seen my tutorial on uh, pocket, uh, was it tags, tabs and pockets, go and check it out. I'll show you in a little bit more detail how to actually do that and how to make your little tabs as well. But essentially what you'll need to do is if you've got the um, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board, what, what you will do is once you have your score lines on your little pocket, like so, you're going to find that first score line and you're going to line it up at the one inch line. And you give that a punch, you'll flip your little pocket over and do the same on this side here, lining your score line up to the one inch mark and punch again. Now you're left with this funny looking little thing. Now all you need to do is just get a craft knife and a ruler and just take out that little middle section there. Like so. And that gives you that lovely little edge to your pocket. Once again we will ink all around the edges of our pockets and we will need six of those. Okay, moving along, the other thing that we will be needing will be three hinges to actually put this little baby together. And I'm cutting mine out of the black cardstock since I'm inking with black and my accessories throughout the album will be black. So these little pieces here are three inches by one and a quarter inches. Now with these you need to score at half an inch and then one and a quarter up, uh, three quarters of an inch. So let me check those measurements for you. Yes, half an inch and three quarters of an inch. So that when we fold that up, as you can see, we've got that nice little hinge. And there's our little spine. That's what we're going to adhere to the back spine of our cover. So we'll need three of those. Okay. Okay, so the other thing that we will need um, on my little album here again is this little piece here as you can see I've got like these little tags little bits of memorabilia pop down into this pocket so this little piece of black cardstock here don't take notice of this is just a little bit of the um, uh, what do you call it that decorative tape we should tape I've just put on the bottom just to add a little bit of um, dimension and interest to the to the bottom but that little piece of card there which is what holds all of our little pieces in there like so we will need to cut out three pieces now this is just an A4 sheet of paper and what I've done is I've cut this out at one and a half inches just in long strips and I've started to punch along one edge with the decorative punch. Now you, you don't want a very deep punch, you just want something that's got a, a, a small edge to it. Okay, so we're going to do that along the whole edge of that, like so. Then we're going to score that once again at half an inch all the way down. And we will cut this to measure as we go along but we will need three in total. Okay, so that's the, the other thing that we need to assemble our little album. 
and last but not least, not forgetting, we'll need some good weight um, chipboard for the covers um, to, to make for this little girl here. Now, let me just have a look at my notes here and make sure I haven't forgotten anything. No, I haven't. Very good. Okay, so the only other thing we need to do in preparation is to cut all the papers that we will need. That's going to go on the inside piece here and on the back piece here. As you can see, this little yellow pattern here. So these are the pieces I'm talking about when I say the inside pieces. This little piece here and this little piece here. So obviously we've got six pockets, so we'll need 12 pieces in total. And we're going to cut these out at um, five and one quarter by three inches. Once again, we'll ink around the edges of those and we'll have 12 in total. Okay, so I'll just stop the video now, let you girls get some, and guys, get all your pieces together. And once you have, I'll meet you back here and we'll start assembling. Thank you. Okay, so we left off um, needing to go and ink all of our envelopes, cut up all of the pieces that we needed. We needed our flaps, we needed our pockets, and we needed the paper also to go inside the little album. So once we've got all of that done and our ink is dry, you can go ahead and just grab a little glue stick. I'm just using this boss stick here. We don't need too much of this actually. I'll just grab my little um, silicon mat here so I don't make a mess. Okay, so we just need to glue just on the tips. Now be careful that we don't get our glue down in here or we're never going to be able to slide our tags in and out. And just give that a little burnish. So you can go ahead and do that to all of the envelopes. And you really don't need very much glue either. So we will have paper sticking down the top of this as well. Okay, so I've already done the rest of mine, so I'll just grab the little score tool. Just really give that a good score down. Good burnish rather, not score. Set those aside just to dry. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is grab our score tape. Now I do use score tape. You, you, you know, when you're doing an album, you really do need a good quality tape, a tape that's that's got a lot of sticking power. You, you don't want these things to come apart, and you want to be able to use them over and over again. So you know, if you put the thing together right in the first place, you're not going to have any problems. I mean, if you've got some red line tape or, or anything that's just got some really good um, sticking power. So, as I said, I've used score tape and I've gone ahead and I have ran down each bar one. I've missed one, so let's do that now. Just on that flap there. Now, we want to pop it close. To that score line but not on it. Okay. Very, very important that you burnish your tape. Whenever you're putting it on and whenever you're taking the back off and adhering it to another piece of paper, you really need to burn that, really burnish it down. Okay, so that's those done there. Now on the little envelope, a little pockets rather, we will do exactly the same adding our tape to three sides. When we've done all of that, we'll just make sure we can see where those fold lines are going to be. We're just going to cut those corners off, just like so, so that when we do fold that up, we're not going to have that bulk in the corner at the back. It's going to sit down just nicely. So we can go ahead and do that to all of the little pockets. Okay, I won't do all of them right now. The other thing you can do 
on these flaps too is just taper off just that little bit. See how little that is? There you go. See, it's just that tiny little bit. But that is going to prevent that when we lift our little flap up, we're not going to see, and we're not going to see it from this side or this side, the end of that little tab there. So we can go ahead and we can do that to each one of these flaps. said anything about opening up the ends of the envelope yet and the reason for that is like I was saying earlier you'd be hard pressed to find one that's that's actually even so what I like to do is I'll just get my knife and ruler and I'll take off just a sliver and I mean just a sliver off one end just enough to open that envelope up and just check Okay, so it's going to open there. Now what I like to do is pop my flap on and give myself just a tiny, tiny little bit of excess showing there. And make sure that's sitting in there nice and flush with that score. And then I lay it down like that. And I use the edge of this flap here as a guide. As you can see how crooked this envelope is. But using the corner, uh, the edge of your flap as a guide, straight, because hopefully we've cut straight, now that's going to line up just nice, just beautifully. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that to each of the six envelopes, matching each little flap to it. When we've done that, we can remove the tape from the back. And just line that up. Now make sure once again that you're just inside that fold line. You don't want to be on the fold line. You want to be up near it, but not on it. So let's score that down. This side, score it down. And there we go. So now when we get our paper inside paper, that there will be covered up. Okay? So if we go ahead and do that to all of the six envelopes, mitering all the corners on the pockets and adhering the flaps and I'll meet you back here in a few moments. Okay so now we're ready to do the assembly of this little mini. This is the fun part now it really starts to come together quite quickly. So we should have all our little bits cut out and ready to go. Now one quick thing I did forget to mention before with the other um, measurements were the size of the little tags that we need. Now the tags actually pop in here to the side on each of these little pages. Okay, so I've left a little bit of room because when we do our binding we're going to take up at least a quarter of an inch and you want a little bit of space so that there's a bit of freedom there for that to move in and out. Okay, so the size of the tags that I've done are two and three quarters by four and a half. Now I've just used um, the little um, tab punch here from, um, it's a paper shaper one. If, look, if you don't have this punch, it's not a problem. If you do have the punch board that we've done making these little um, pieces here with, go and check out the tutorial that I've done with the tabs. Um, I think the tutorial's called um, tags, tabs and pockets and I can show you on that um, tutorial how to make little tab 
toppers for your tags. Okay, so, let's have a look here, I've just temporarily taped those down. So we'll go ahead and make sure that we have burnished all of our tape. And we're using one of the pieces that we've already got cut out and inked up to go on the inside piece here. So we're going to line it up along the top here, just giving a little bit of that black edge showing, or your inked edge showing, whatever colour you've used to ink your pages. Once again, give that a little rub down. Now at this point, you can open it up And I'm using a one inch punch here, but you can use whatever size you've got. And we're just going to pop that in there, punch that out. Now while we've got that open, just ink in there on that fresh cut. Okay, so now there's our little opening for our tag. Okay, so the next thing we want to do after we've placed our inside piece, so there's our flap, lifted up, we've got our inside piece, we're going to turn that over to the back and grab our score tape and run a piece edge to edge on the bottom end. I'm going to score that down, just make sure I don't have any overhang there and I do, just tidy that up. Burnishing it really well and lift that up. Now what we need to do is grab our little border that we've made, one of the pieces here. I'm going to open that up with the border, the punched border facing us. And we're going to line that up just, just a hair's width away from that fold line. Okay, turn it over and burnish that down. Okay, so now what we need to do is a bit of wet glue. Now I'm using this um, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive. It's very strong um, and it dries very quickly, as it says, as the name says, it's quick dry. But it, it dries so quick, look, it doesn't give your paper time to, to buckle like a lot of glues do. And what we're going to do is just add a little bit a little bit she says and a big blob comes out just on the edge and just going up touching that lip of the pocket there I'll show you what I've done okay now fold that over and just hold it for a moment really will take quite quickly rub, make sure it's glued down well. You can grab your scissors and just trim that off. You could use your craft knife if you wanted. Okay. Flat down, turn it over. Now we're ready to put the back piece on. Okay, so we're in once again. After we've burnished that tape down, lift it up, and we're going to line this one up just under the top edge there. Now I should say, I'm lining mine up there. It's it is giving me a little bit of a gap down the bottom here, but I'm not concerned about that because I'm putting this tape um, on, which I'll show you in a moment. If you don't want that there, then you just bring that down a little bit and space it out evenly. Okay, so now we're going to make sure that is down. We'll grab our little pocket piece. Once again, when you're using anything that's going to be used a lot, like pockets or flaps or anything in your little books, really do use a good tape. 
lining that up right on the bottom corner, edge to edge. Really important that you do burnish that down. That's, that's going to make sure that that tape really is getting a good stick on there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, what I have done, you can skip this step if you like, it's up to you. I'm just going to apply some of this tissue tape, just lining it up with the little pattern I've got there on my punch out. As you can see. And we'll just flip that over and bring that up. Now give that a little burnish down as well. Just make sure all your edges are nice and tidy. Even if it's just a little millimetre coming out, that, that will catch. So make sure that it's nice and flush with the edges. Now because I've ran this tape over the pocket here, it's just going to restrict that edge. So I just grab my knife, lay it in there, and just trim straight across. That's just opening up that edge of that pocket again. Just rub that tape down. And there we go, that's not going to restrict any tags going in or out of there now. Okay, so we're going to assemble all of the pages exactly the same. And we just will set those to the side. Okay, so now we'll move on to the, um, the cover. And I've gone ahead and done a lot of the preparation work here for um, my little cover. So the size that we're going to need um, for the front and back cover, so we need two pieces that will be six inches by three and a half inches. Okay, the spine will be three and a half inches by one and three quarter inches. So again, it's six excuse me, six and three and a half, sorry, six inches by three and a half inches for your front and back. And for your spine, it's three and a half by one and three quarters. So all I've done with mine, I've painted the in what's going to be the inside. I've just painted that black. You can go ahead and cover that with paper if you like. Um, but for, for mine, I've just painted that. And I've also just gone around the edges, front and back, with some black paint as well, just acrylic paint. Um, and I've gone ahead and I've also punched my little holes here for our closure. Okay, so once you've got that all, all um, painted or papered, whatever you like, on the back side, what we need to do is cover it totally with our score tape. Okay, so we'll just set that one aside. Now how we're going to bind this is this a little bit different with what I do. And what I've done here, this is going to be our spine back. So this is what we will actually see on the outside of the book. And it, look, it is so durable. I love using this for my um, mini albums. And what I actually do is I grabbed myself a piece of art canvas. Now look, you can pick this up in little A4 size pads at, at just about any art supply or even a lot of the little um, cheaper discount stores carry it in their art section. It's so cheap for a whole book of it and it's so flexible and strong. And this is what I use to um, use for my binding. Now what I do, here's a piece that's already all done. So you can see here's the canvas on this side and whatever cover, whatever you want your spine to be, whatever paper is on the other side. And I just adhere the cardstock and the canvas together with a, a strong double sided um, piece of adhesive like, like so. And so I just would take the backing off, run that down, Give it a good burnish, 
pop the paper that I'm wanting to use for my spine on the other side, burnish that down, and there we go. Now, the other thing I really like about this as well is it being so durable, it, it just gives a really nice effect as well. And I'm not sure if you can see this side or this side better, but I've ran it through the um, Big Kick machine and I've just popped it in an embossing folder and it embosses it beautifully and it actually holds the embossing better than if it was just a piece of cardstock. Okay, so all I've done then is just inked around the edges. Okay, I have put some score tape here, but I will be using a hot glue gun as well. Just because once you've got the canvas and you've put ink on it, it, it tends to resist a little bit of the, the sticky on the tape, so I like to make sure once it's down, it's down. So I'll show you how to do that when we get there. So that's, that's the spine. Honestly guys, once you try this, you will love it. you really love it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my little mat here so I don't make a mess, she says. Always try not to make a mess and I, I make huge messes. Okay, so I've got my paper that I wanted to use for my front and back. I'm going to do this, um, this little cover all the same, I think. And my preferred method, you go ahead and adhere your paper however you like best, but my preferred method is I do like to use a wet glue and I just paint that all over. Make sure you get right up to those edges. I'm in frame here guys, not that you need to really see someone painting glue on a page, but anyhow, so I've got that lined up pretty good. Now I do water the glue down a little bit. Um, you can just use your, your quick dry or you could just use um, any kind of a, a, a white craft glue. It doesn't really matter for the cover. Just tidy that up. Make sure all those edges are adhered down nicely. I've watered this one down just a little bit too much, I think. Just going to lift that up. that aside for a little minute to dry. And we'll grab the next piece here. Just making sure that you cover all of it. No, there is a the concern that when you're using wet glue your paper's going to buckle. Well, that's not going to happen if the whole area is evenly covered with glue. If you've only got glue and bits and pieces of pa uh, places, then that may happen. Make sure you give that a good burnish all around. So okay, I'll just let that piece dry for a second. Let's get a bit one here and clean this mess up. Okay, so you need our mat again the glue off my hands. Okay. It's 
So we'll bring that first piece back that we just had and we'll just trim up that paper. I like to use my ruler, I don't trust myself just doing it freehand. And there we go. I'm going to find, just grab a little um, ball tool. Just find where that hole that I punched out previously is. I'll just just while that's wet helps me um, see what that, that is. And what I'll do, actually I'll do it right now. Line that back up. Help if there was any paper in there. Line that back up over that hole there. And punch that in. The reason I like to do that is if you make a mistake where you put your hole and it's already covered, well there's not a lot you can do about it. But if you punch it out before you even cover your page, if you've made a mistake, you can like, you know, patch it up a bit, run a bit of paper over there and, and, and redo your hole in the right spot and cover it up and you can hide it. So that's the reason I like to do it that way. Okay. Trying to move along quickly because I know time is an issue. So just go around and neaten up all your edges. Punch out that hole again. Well, that's here. Just grab my black ink. Just ink around those edges, just covering up that raw edge of the paper. Okay. And any glue that has got onto the edge will just be covered up by that um, that ink. So you don't need to worry about that. and glue that on upside down guys. Okay, so that's going to be I'll make that the inside now. So I've glued that. So that's something you need to watch is the direction. So I've got that one right, but this one here I've got back to front. So that's going to now become my inside. Okay. Let's have a look at what we've got for the inside here. kind of cute. Yeah, I like that. I like that very much. I'll just take this edge off. Okay. Get my other piece ready. Now this is going to have to go on the back now, isn't it? So, let me think. What do I like? Mm. What do you think? I think I'll go with this one. Yeah, I'll go with this one. Got to always make room for adjustments with craft, don't you? Okay, so we're going to repeat that process. Make sure I've got this up the right way. So that's my front. Okay. And 
Let's grab that piece and line it up. Just a tiny bit there I missed. There we go. Lining that up nicely there. Aren't those balloons cute? I am loving it. See, sometimes mistakes just work out for the best. So let that piece dry for a moment. Okay, so that is the inside. So this needs to go that way. run around these edges again with the ink. We love it when it all just works out. ink around the edges again. All these little bits you've got left over make beautiful little additions. So don't throw away your scraps. You can make lots of little bits uh, like little tags and things for your album. I'll show you what I've done with some of the scraps that we've, we've had. Now this is just one way to do your album. You don't need to cover all your albums like this. Just as I was saying, it is just a very quick and easy little album to put together. And the binding is all part of that. So once again, I'll just punch out that on this side what we're going to do, I won't pop it on yet because we need it to um, lay flat for us to do some, do the assembly, but I've got this here we're going to wrap around as the closure. So, she should have put this on beforehand, but that's okay. I will just gear that down now with a bit of tape. be much better to go in under that um, paper guys but making a couple of little mistakes here because I am rushing now I've, I've gone ahead and made another extra little pocket for the back just to help cover that up but because I've got that ribbon there what I will need to do is just pop a little piece of paper 
in there. Now, you're better off using a very lightweight paper. Any little scrap will do. Even photocopy paper would be fine. It's just going to act as a little barrier so that nothing will catch on that. Might even just rub a bit of glue on there. Quite that long. Beautiful. So I'll just grab the backing off of this. And we'll pop that one down over the top and no one will ever know. going to be the inside of the back cover. Turn it over, revealing the um, little pull here, little little wraparound tie. Okay, so now here comes the fun part. What we will do, and this does require a little bit of lining up, we do need to make sure that we do get this centre piece in centred. Okay, so we've really given that a good burnish and we will remove, just remove all of the backing there on this tape. And as I said before, I do like to go in with some hot glue just to make sure I am getting a really good stick. Okay. And I'm making sure that's in the centre. Lining the top and bottom. need to do is grab our back cover. We'll just remove this tape. As I said earlier, sometimes the ink does repel the tape for some reason. Now we're going to need a quarter inch gap in between the spine and the back cover. So I'm just using this ruler here because that's the width of it. running some of this glue down here. Okay. Quickly grab our ruler and just stand that up in there and line up our back piece. Push that down. Now we're going to repeat that process for the front piece. So I'm telling you, with all of this tape and the hot glue and everything, this baby is not going to come apart. <laughs> but you get a really good stick with the um, canvas back as well. Actually, something I should have done was inked in here. You see how you're going to see that white? piece in there but that's okay I can go back and fix that up. But I might just quickly 
do that on this side first. So I've only got one that I have to um, It's just so that when the album is being used, you're not going to see that um, background. It's just going to blend in with everything else there. Okay, so let's grab that hot glue again. Let's go around the edge. Make sure I've got everything right. Yes, it is right. Got that ruler in there for our spacing. Lining that up and pushing it down. Okay, so when that's we're happy with that, I'm just going to lift this up nice and slow. And just give that crease to the back there. Turn around, do the same for the front. And you can see how that quarter inch gap here allows the album to fold up perfectly. Okay, just remove all those little legs. So, look, while I've still got the hot glue gun going there, what I'm going to do is run a piece of um, black lace down the side just to, just to finish off that edge. Just like so. <clears throat> Let's run that right down that edge there. Hold that for a second. Pick off all those little bits once it's dry. We can come back and tidy that right up on the ends later. We'll just let that really dry first. We'll do the same to the back. You, know, you could just run a piece of ribbon down here or another piece of. Um, coordinating paper. Just make sure your glue is really hot. These little webs are a problem, aren't they? Yeah, pop that out of the Let that dry there like so for a bit. And just while that's drying, I'll just go ahead and show you what I've um, decided to use for the front cover. I had some of these um, little frames, from their architecture from EK Success, and they just so happened to fit over one of the little pictures that was in the, the paper line. So I've gone ahead and, and popped that in there, done out a die cut, and I'm going to pop that there in the on the front. Okay, so we'll come ahead, we'll go and um, put the handle on, but we won't do that until last. We won't trim off this lace just yet either. We'll just let that really dry. Okay, so before I do anything out, I really do need to go in here and just run some ink. have one of these rulers they come in really handy for this part here because it helps us align up all of our little tabs so what we need to do we'll just set this aside for a moment and let that dry and what we need to do is open these tabs up 
Remember these are the little pieces we had for our binding. And on the back side where you've got that score mark for a quarter inch, I want you to go ahead and lay down your score tape. And right in that centre. So I'm using the quarter inch here. Now you may not think so, but this actually is strong enough to hold these pages in. I've made many books using this technique and they are fine. They have really withstood the treatment they receive. The, I think the secret with it all is really burnishing it down. Because that's making sure that that glue is really getting a good stick. I know I keep repeating myself, but I just can't express how important that is. Good quality tape and really burnishing it down. Okay, so now what we need to do is bring our cover back. And what I like to do is what I like to do is pop my ruler on this cover here. I should just get a little piece of board just so that it's up even. It's not even. There we go. And I line up on one of these quarter inch marks because these here, these hinges are cut so that we've got a quarter inch space on the bottom and a quarter inch space at the top of the spine. So if we line this up we will also see where to lay these down. So we're going to leave a quarter inch and then the next quarter inch space we will glue one of these down. We will leave a quarter inch and the next piece we will glue one of these down and so forth till we've got our three. And that's giving us a quarter of an inch either side to accommodate uh, the thickness of our um, little pages. Actually, what we need to do first is attach the pages. Okay, so get that score tape back again. And we're going to run a piece on either side of these little wings. We'll do that with these three pieces. that easy. So as you can see it actually does start to come together quite quickly. Once you've got all your bits cut out um, and the assembly, it just all comes together like magic. Okay, I don't have to say it again, but really rub that down. Now again, we want to just taper these edges just slightly Okay, that's going to make sure that it's easy for us to insert these pockets. So we'll do that to each one of these. Okay. So our little bits should be looking like that now just with that little angle cut on them. All those scraps. Now let's bring in our pages. Now we want to make sure that they are going in the direction we want them to go. So I've got mine so that they are all coordinating do is just remove, if we do have any of our embellishments or tags or anything in them, just go ahead and just remove those for now. Okay. So 
It's one of those little folders I said I would show you. done this it would be easier for you to put your tape down before you cut your corners that's okay so just remove it from one side make sure that your opening for your tag tag is on, on your right hand side. The left hand side is what we are going to bind. So we're going to open that up. Hold this up if we can. I'll try and do it this way so you can see. It's a bit, a bit hard. We're going to slip that just to that fold line. Not, not on it, just up against it. Okay, and when we're happy with that, burnish that. Now turn it over, lift this up and get that other piece of tape out. Okay, and then burnish that down. Okay. So I'm going to do the same for this one here. So now on this side we'll have a pocket facing. We'll just slip that down. we've got one hinge assembly. Okay, so there's the back. You can see the score tape there. There's our spine. So here's our page. Turning it over. Next page. Okay, so we need to do that to these the rest of the pages. So two pages on this spine, two pages on this spine. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. I'll just stop the video, I will do that, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so we've got all our page assemblies done. We've got three little pagelets, as we call them, done. And what we're going to do, as you can see what I've done here, is I've actually just put down some score tape, because it is quarter of an inch width. And I've left quarter of an inch, put a piece of tape, left quarter inch tape, etc. So it just might be easier for you to see what I'm actually doing. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead, we'll remove the first lot. I have scored that down, we'll burnish that down, and I've removed the piece of tape from my spine here. So what we're going to do is just line that up as straight as we can. Just move that ruler for a moment. Just like so. Give that a little rub down. Okay. See how nice and flat those pages lay. So let's remove that second piece. And the second piece from our next lot of pages. And do the same thing. 
just lining that up. Just like so. Okay. And then the last one. folder it's good just to go in there just give it a little press down okay. and so there we have a little album see how beautifully it just lays flat Beautiful. Okay, now we can add our pockets back in. Uh, our tags back in our little pockets. Just got to remember which ones I wanted where. We have this one here. And now this is one of the little um, pieces that I've made, as I was saying about the scraps earlier. It's just little off cuts, and so it's just a little bifold thing that we can do some journaling, some photos, and that's just going to sit down in there like so. And the next page, put another pocket, uh, another tag in there. I haven't made my tags for those yet, so. guy to, to fill up. You've got both sides of these tags, you've got both sides of these flaps and then again on the back you've got the back here as well as the tag or several tags to um, go ahead and pop into those little pockets. So as little as it is, so it really can hold quite a lot. So pop this little one in here. And as you can see, that paper that we glued down before, beautiful. That just fits in and out. Pop that in there. Another one here, I'll just stick that in there. And here's another little um, pocket I've made. And it's just holding two little tags. And I've gone around with the matching tape around the corner back. Just holding that closed with one of these tiny little Tim Holtz brads, uh paper clips. So that one can just sit down in there like so. Closing that all up. And now we can pop our closure on. So these here are, what I'm using are the little um, hitch fasteners from um, Tim Holtz. And it's a two-part thing. You've got a little screw backing here, and then the front piece just, and that just screws on. Nice and tight like that. Let's grab our little piece here. Oh, it's not going to stay up very well, is it? There we go. That's it. That's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to do that anyway, get that out of the way, and I will adhere my little embellishment for the front on. Always run out of hot glue at the wrong moment, don't you? 
What is that? So there you can see our finished little mini. And look at that spine, isn't that something? Set back, that little bit of lace. I mean you can jazz this up as much as you like, but um, there we go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you for coming along this little journey with me. And if anyone's got any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And um, please subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys soon. Have fun creating. Bye-bye.